this local sports report is brought to you by Wilson Mental Performance Consulting, a proud supporter of local hockey. Wilson Mental Performance is your professional source for mental training, sports psychology training, and skill development. They are dedicated to the ongoing growth, development, and success of local athletics, both on and off the field. For more information and to book an individual or team session with Wade, call 226-868-5312 or email wade at wilsonmentalperformance.com. A rare Tuesday night game in the PWHL, and it featured a pair of local teams, the Kitchener-Waterloo Rangers hitting the ice, facing the Cambridge Rivulets. The two teams meeting for the first time this season, and the first good scoring chance goes to the Rivulets. The pass for Allie McLeod in the slot, Kara Mark with a good save, and she hangs on for a whistle. No score after the opening period to the second. Kara Denhode at the point, her shot tipped by McLeod, Kara Mark coming through with another good stop. She keeps the game scoreless. Then a terrific defensive play by Ashley Robitaille. She hustles back and knocks it away from McLeod. Robitaille taking away a scoring chance. Later, a good opportunity for KW. Lauren Davies fires Jesse McPherson with a glove save for the Rivulets. The game still without a goal. Late stages of the period. Now this is Jamie McGoffin coming in. The puck goes to Sydney Miller and she puts it in. Cambridge striking first on Miller's second goal of the season, 1-0 Cambridge. Just over a minute later, Peyton Kerr digs it free along the boards, drives to the net and scores. Kerr ties the game on the power play. It's one all after two, third period. Watch the far point. Allison Stevenson blocks the shot. She chases down the loose puck, good chance, but Jesse McPherson slams the door. Big save there, still one all. Back the other way, the Rivs looking for the lead. Tori Verbeek near side takes the pass, stopped by Kara Mark. Still one all, and we need overtime. And the Rangers get into some penalty trouble. Ashley Robitaille behind the net is called for body checking, and that gives the Rivulets a five on three advantage for one minute and 37 seconds. And the Rivulets think they've won the game on this play. Sydney Healy puts it home, but the ref waves it off right away because he calls a penalty on Jamie McGoffin. He says there was head contact on the play. McGoffin is number 12 at the side of the net. That's a bit of a tough call on the Rivulets in overtime, and this game would end in a draw. Cambridge and KW playing to a 1-1 tie on Tuesday night at Kinsman Arena. For more highlights, visit our website, 519sportsonline.ca. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter.